welcome dear students to agrawal structural academy now today we will learn the castiglons second theorem the theorem is the partial derivative of a total internal energy in a beam with respect to the applied load at any point is equal to the deflection at that point so this is the partial derivative do u by do p with respect to the applied load at any point so do p i that is equal to the delta i so we take the examples for the application of this theorem now suppose this is a cantilever beam having load w of span now if you want to find the deflection at b so here apply one a fictitious force p e where we want the deflection then prepare this table that is origin limit then mx del mx by del p now here this delta i is equal to del u by do u by do p i so that is equal to do by do p i this u is the strain energy for the bending the strain energy is the integration m square upon 2 ei dx upon e so this partial derivative of this u is the integration mx into do mx by do pi into dx by ei so our aim is to find the mx our aim is to find the partial derivative of this bending moment with respect to the p and the total integration so now in this case we have to take the bending moment so at any distance x here also and at here x also so origin is the b now limit is 0 to l now bending moment due to this load and bending moment due to this fictitious force so w into the x but this load here the hogging bending moment so is minus again p into the x but is hogging bending moment so is p x now partial derivative of this equation with respect to the p so this becomes a zero so this is minus x so delta b is equal to integration is limit is zero to l minus here is what mx zero is mx is minus p into x into minus x dx upon e i so now here this force is a fictitious force so put p is equal to 0 so this equation becomes here delta is equal to integration 0 to l here p is equal to 0 this becomes minus w into x into minus x dx upon e i so minus minus plus so this becomes integration 0 to l w x square dx divided by the e i so here integration of this is w x cube divided by 3 e i 0 to l so delta b is equal to here 
W L cube divided by three. This is a very simple method to find out the deflection at any point in the determinant structure. Now we take the another example. Suppose that is cantilever beam of length L. This is A, B, and this is W. Now again we want the deflection at point B. So again apply the fictitious force P at that point where we want the deflection in which direction we apply the load in that direction. This is the L. Now again take the bending moment here. From here and from here. Now prepare the table. That is what origin. Then limit. Then also put here one. It is also EI. Then MX and do MX by do P. Now here origin is the B, limit is 0 to L, here EI is EI, now bending moment due to this both the forces, that is this and this, so here is what W into X square by 2 and this is hogging bending moment, so that is minus W X square by 2, then again minus P into the X, P into the X. So again this do mx by do p that becomes minus x. Now our deflection delta b is equal to what integration is limited 0 to l okay then minus w x square by 2 minus p into the x into minus x dx now ei is ei let's put it ei. So put here P is equal to 0 because of this fictitious force. So this now becomes is equal to integration 0 to L minus W X square by 2 into minus X. Now this becomes 0 to L minus minus plus W X cube by 2 into dx upon ei here is also the multiply by dx now integration of this is what w x raised to power 4 into 2 ei integration 0 to n so this we can put here limits w l raised to power 4 divided by 80 is the deflection of a beam subjected to cantilever beam subjected to uh, W throughout the length. Now we can take one more examples. Suppose the beam is subjected here is the W. So this is L by 2 L by 2 and this is A and B. Now we want again the deflection at center. So again apply here the unit load here P force not unit load. Again here prepare the table that is origin here is EI, then limit, then EI, then MX, then do MX by do P. 
the origin here is here is a two sections from this is a to c so origin a limit is 0 to l by 2 e i is equal to e i then here w is w by 2 w by 2 e by 2 e by 2 So now here for A to C, what is your bend moment for this is W by 2 into the X. Now for this is plus again P by 2 into the X. Now here partial derivative with respect to P is the X by 2. Now origin is B again for here in this pen X x here is limited 0 to l by 2 this e i is equal to for this span is e i again same that w by 2 into the x plus p by 2 into the x derivative of this with respect to the p so that is the x by 2 then delta c that center is equal to integration 0 to l by 2 where w by 2 into the x plus p by 2 into the x into x by 2 dx upon ei again plus here integration 0 to l by 2 w by 2 into the x plus into x by 2 dx upon di so this is the same so we can say it is a twice integration 0 to l by 2 w by 2 into the x plus e by 2 into the x into x by 2 dx upon ei so now put here p is equal to 0 so this becomes the 0 so 2 integration 0 to l by 2 w by 2 into the x into x by 2 dx divided by ei so again that is equal to 2 into integration 0 to l by 2 w x square divided by the 4 dx upon ei so here 2 by 4 now here integration again take w as this common here now integration of this is x cube by 3 0 to by 2 so that is equal to the w l cube by 48 